हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस टी सी एस डिजिटल लेटेस्ट एग्जाम पैटर्न लेटेस्ट सिलेबस वॉट इज द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस इन टी सी एस डिजिटल आई विल डिस्कस वॉट इज द सैलरी फॉर टी सी एस डिजिटल प्रोफाइल हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर सेक्शन वाइज हाउ मेनी टाइम यू विल गेट फॉर ईच क्वेश्चन आई विल डिस्कस वॉट इज द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ आई विल डिस्कस विल देर बी एनी नेगेटिव मार्किंग और नॉट येस देर विल बी नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो हाउ मेनी मार्क्स विल दे डिडक्ट for each incorrect answer or how many marks will they give for each correct answer what is the marking scheme everything i, I will discuss in this video so i request you to watch full video otherwise you will miss lot of informations so let's get started so first let me show this salary so for tcs digital profile they will provide 7 lpa but for tcs ninja profile they provide 3.36 lpa okay so this is almost double now let's move to selection process so for tcs digital digital so there will be total three rounds round 1 will be online exam round 2 will be technical interview round 3 will be hr interview each round is an elimination round okay so you need to qualify all the three rounds in order to get an offer letter from tcs now let's move to exam pattern so there will be total three sections in online exam of teachers digital section 1 will be advanced quantitative aptitude section 2 will be verbal ability and section 3 will be advanced coding round please note for section 1 and section 2 there will be negative marking but for section 3 it means advanced coding there will not be any negative marking okay and now total there will be uh, 37 questions you need to solve 37 questions and total time will be 110 minutes so you need to solve 37 questions in 110 minutes now let's move to uh, section 1 and let's discuss in detail about each of the section so section 1 will be advanced quantitative aptitude so in advanced quantitative aptitude there will be total 20 questions and you need to solve in 40 minutes question type will be mcq for each correct answer you will get one marks okay and one marks for each correct answer now for each incorrect answer you will get or they will deduct 2 by 3 marks okay and you can say 0.67 marks they will deduct for each incorrect answer and expected cut off will be 80% so you need to solve 16 questions correctly out of the 20 in order to qualify this this round please note every round or every section is an elimination round in tcs digital and tcs digital is really a difficult exam that's why uh, they give higher package okay now here you can see the syllabus so you can take the screenshots screenshot and you can prepare accordingly and how to prepare then you can you can search uh, like you can search uh, questions on probability okay then you will find lot of questions and you can uh, practice 10 to 15 questions on each of the topics then this is how you can prepare now let's move to section 2 section 2 will be verbal ability so for verbal ability there will be total 10 questions you need to solve in 10 minutes question type will be mcq and for each correct answer you will get one marks and for each in correct answer they will deduct 2 by 3 marks it means 0.67 marks they will deduct for each in correct answer and expected cut off will be 80% again and it means 8 questions you need to solve 8 questions correctly out of the 10 questions and here are the syllabus you can take the screenshot of the syllabus okay and you can prepare accordingly now let's move to section 3 and last section so section 3 will be advanced coding round so there will be total two questions in coding and you will have 60 minutes to solve two coding questions and please note uh, there is no individual timing for each of the questions so you can adjust your time accordingly for example for first question you can take more than 30 minutes okay and for suppose if you take 40 minutes for first question then you can take um, 20 minutes for another questions okay so you can adjust your timing accordingly so total you will get 60 minutes okay now question type will be subjective obviously for coding question you will get uh, question type will be subjective and there will not be any negative marking and for each 
करेक्ट क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट सिक्सटी मिनट्स सॉरी सिक्सटी मार्क्स फॉर ईच करेक्ट क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट सिक्सटी मार्क्स एंड एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट इट मीन्स यू नीड टू सॉल्व वन क्वेश्चन करेक्ट एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन हाफ 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 मीन्स एंड प्लीज नोट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन प्लीज नोट दे विल नॉट गिव मार्क्स ऑन योर बेस्ड ऑन योर लॉजिक सो वेदर इफ यू राइट करेक्ट लॉजिक और इन करेक्ट लॉजिक नो मैटर सो वॉट मैटर्स दे विल गिव मार्क्स ओनली ऑन ओनली बेस्ड ऑन योर हाउ मैनी टेस्ट केसेज यू विल पास सो मोर द टेस्ट केसेज यू विल पास मोर द मार्क्स यू विल गेट दिस इज सिंपल रूल सो फॉर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन और फॉर वन क्वेश्चन यू विल यू नीड टू सॉल्व और यू नीड टू पास फुल ऑल द ऑल द टेस्ट केसेज एंड फॉर अनदर क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व फिफ्टी परसेंट आउटपुट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर क्वेश्चन वन देर आर इन इन क्वेश्चन वन देर आर टोटल टेन टेस्ट केसेज सो यू नीड टू सॉल्व ऑल दें ऑल द टेन टेस्ट केसेज एंड फॉर सपोज इन अनदर क्वेश्चन देर आर टोटल एट एट आउटपुट्स एंड एट टेस्ट केसेज देन यू नीड टू सॉल्व एट लीस्ट फोर टेस्ट केसेज ओके सो दिस इज जस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड सो यू कैन गेट just idea so how many uh, test cases you need to pass okay so this is just expected cut off now in the um, for the coding round you can select any one of the five programming languages so either you can select c programming language or c++ programming language or java or perl or python okay and syllabus for the coding so math based coding strings array data structures and algorithm and please prepare accordingly and question type will be difficult really difficult okay so please practice and and practice on each of the topic like you uh, practice at least four or five questions on strings and four or five questions on array four or five questions on data structure even for data structure i suggest uh prepare at least six or seven questions because uh, questions for data structure will be difficult really difficult and for algorithm also you can uh, you you need to practice at least four or five questions okay and one more important thing now the question is now you can you may have one question can you switch uh, programming language between the questions for example uh, for question 1 can you select c programming language and for question 2 can you select c++ so answer is no you can select only one programming language for both the questions okay so if you select java then you need to solve both the questions in java if you select python then you need to solve both the questions in python okay so this is how you need to solve the advanced coding questions and yeah so you can prepare accordingly now what i miss yeah i think i have everything i discussed yeah so If you have any doubt please feel free to ask in comment box you can join our telegram channel i'll provide link in the description box if you think this video is helpful like this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching this video